the new Google Notebook LM is a very beautiful tool for summarizing your research work, uh, summarizing literature, understanding literature, and um, in a very quick fix, getting to understand what you're trying to study, what you're trying to review, or what you're trying to um, make heads and tails of. Now, but there is something it requires to use the Google Notebook LM. You need to have uh, PDF copies of whatsoever you want to study, whatsoever you want to make meaning of, and yeah, this is uh, the environment. You need to upload some files um, and now discuss with the different files. At the moment, it supports PDF text, Markdown, audio, MP3. And the biggest challenge would be, how do I assemble all of the tools I need to upload into this device, into this model, and begin to summarize them in very quick succession? In this video, I will show you how you could blend ChatGPT and the Google Notebook LM to get very fast an understanding of what server literature or um, a group of literature you are trying to study. And I would mention why um, not using uh, Google Scholar may not be the best at this time. So let's get to ChatGPT and I will show you what to do with ChatGPT. Then we'll come back here and find how to get to use it. So here is ChatGPT and I have a topic I am trying to find uh, related literature for. And I have searched that uh, there are so many things on the web on this topic. But I want to narrow it down and I want to have a clear cut understanding of this topic. What I need to do, um, how I need to go about it what model had been used by others and um, what mathematical formulation, what theory uh, is very common around this topic. So what do I do? On ChatGPT, I would say um, find around the web related studies to this topic and I'll leave it topic in parentheses. I'll come down and make some specific for each of the study ensure um okay for each of the study list what they discuss in relation to the topic include only recent papers that are open source and have um, a PDF link present the PDF link and uh, any other thing you want to add just give us a prompt a, give, a prompt that is uh, very intuitive a prompt that would instruct properly and hit on enter and uh, by now you are aware that you should ensure that um, your search your web search is open so that it could look out for very current papers and not just current papers papers that um, uh, open source and the PDF is available. So there you go. It has listed for me some um, 10 or 3 papers and like I instructed it lifted or went for papers whose uh, 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 PDF is available. Here is that paper. Uh, it is on ResearchGate. It is on ResearchGate and um, it has a downloadable version so I can just click on download and very quickly I would download that file that file is already downloading so I'll go back to chat GPT and look for the next of course these are uh, related papers to that but that's not what I'm doing here for now 
uh, this paper is very related. Of course, if I want to look for another paper, and it is uh, also very, very current to that topic, this PDF is available. So I could just click and I, with just one paper, I have other or several related papers. Again, I can just click on download and that paper would begin to download. So I have two papers downloaded already. There are still more papers that are very close to um, what I am trying to do. So one chat GPT prompt takes me to a whole lot of papers that are related and I just download them, keep them in my archive. Going back to this other paper, the chat GPT. So I'll just click again and it takes me to the PDF version of the paper. And um, it's not open source though, but I could find the open source of that paper. If you like, I could click, I could even search for more, I could say, um, find five papers more. I could say, ensure their PDF um, link is available. I could be that specific and again, this model will do all that for me. You know, search me some five more papers that are very related to what I am trying to study and it's giving me the link and uh, gives me an overview or how whatsoever the paper it's giving me relates to what I am looking out for uh, effect of geometry on that 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 and uh, I could read further of course each time I click read further it takes me to the uh, PDF um, a PDF of that paper. This again has its PDF. I could just click on download and that paper is uh, downloaded into my drive and I have a number of downloaded papers. So when I have all of these downloaded papers, I will now return. Okay, I have all of this. It is downloaded. So let me return to um this space where i now want so i'm back to google notebook lm and i want to begin to upload all the papers i have found so that i could begin to make meaning of the papers find their connections and all of that so i'll just go there and click all the papers i have downloaded all of the papers all of the papers all of uh, the papers and uh, I open them. So all the papers would open into the space. And when they open, I can now discuss with the papers. I can find relationship. I can find um, the mathematical method used by this paper, which of course, if five papers have used the same method, or it means it's um, a generally acceptable method to uh, work with. Now, on the LM, there is um, uh, what they call the chat button, a chat space that allows you to, the chat platform allows you to talk with the paper. So let's get talking with the papers. The first thing I want to ask is um, what is the mathematical formulation that is common with these papers and of course it would assess all the uh, five papers i have there and it will discuss for me the mathematical formulation that is common with all of the papers and so there you go very detailed discuss very, very detailed discourse. Very, 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 very detailed discourse. The sources describe the mathematical formulation used to investigate parts of quantum dot with a focus on calculating energy level and, and, and all of that. So, all of them use um, Schrodinger's equation. There is effective mass approximacy. There is a quantum dot potential. There is a spin orbit coupling and um, all of that. And 
all of that and all of that. You see, very detailed discussion, very detailed analysis of the paper. And I could ask further questions. I could ask further questions. Um, what is the um, connection? Connection with these papers. How are they connected? Again, it will dig into the five papers I have um, posted there and it would list their possible connections, how they are related. And remember that I would have had to read these papers one after the other, uh, uh, see through it. This takes me, it takes away all of that work, takes away all of that challenges. The sources provided explore the optical and Properties of phantom dot. You focus on uh, geometry. That that that. Also, say center and study of new kind of which is um, uh, there is rash back uh, um, spin orbit and external magnetic field optical properties and um, uh, all of that. It gives me a general overview, detailed overview, and just like that. And so many things. Anything that comes to your mind that you want to. Um, make out of these papers. I could even ask, um, do they have any common reference? Reference what? I could ask that to see if two or more of these papers had referenced or cited the same paper. And it's going to do that if there is a common citation, of course that gives me insight to something and wow there are so many common citations yes the sources have common reference work indicating a shared foundation in the field of quantum dot this is a very common uh this is cited more than once 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 and all of that so it's already i'm already having an idea I'm gonna, if i'm gonna write my paper this could be where i could go to find um Sources. This could be where I could go to find uh, um, what's it called references. Find similar uh, sim similar things they have done that relates to what I am trying to study. And this is beautiful. This is a whole lot more than uh, what Google Scholar offers. Because with this, you don't only find papers. You chat with the papers. You find connections. You discuss. And this is you discussing with papers as though they were some humans made possible by powerful AI models and any question that comes to your mind that I could go again to pick up my topic and mention how does all of these papers relate to my topic and I could even ask um, from all these papers what method do you think I should use now, let me show you that let me show you so here is my topic and I would say from the inside from these works what mathematical formulation would you suggest for this topic? Oh yes, it's we're gonna grant you can do that for you. It's going to give you possible suggestions from the insight gained from all of this. So, here we go. How these papers are related to my topic. They provided sources that are related to the concept of that, 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 because they explore fundamental physics and all of that. Uh, several sources explicitly, explicitly indicate optical properties of that. This directly is relevant. Um, that, and that, and that. So, it's really giving me that wow these papers are very related to this my topics and this is some affirmation already so i want to uh the, uh, the reference to prior work the sources share common uh references to the works of um, jk fodina and all of that and all of that what can be wonderful than this what can be as beautiful as this this is ai in research this is ai making research, making summary, making study, making, um, digging into insight and finding new insight very easy. Once you go and try this, don't forget to follow me and subscribe to 
this channel for daily updates on how to use AI for research.